So what am I printing today? Uh, what am I designing today? This morning I got up and I've been having these upper back pains and I was looking up YouTube and then, you know, people are using, like, this guy was telling me to use a can and wrap it with towel. Um, there's a lot of back rollers you can get on Amazon. So I was going to just, I was thinking, well, why don't I just make one? And this would be also a great test uh, to really test the strength of uh, the infills. And also this one's only two layers of uh, perimeter, you can see, but it's 5% gyroid infill and I'm going to go ahead and test it against maybe perimeter of 5 and 7 with less infill or same infill that's going to be very interesting uh, let me actually go ahead and show you uh, the design I've been working on so this is a back roller basically you put it on your back and then you know like you'll need a sp uh, space for your spine bones if you make it too flat then it's going to be hard to use so I made a little sp uh, space for it and basically, this is a this is a very simple design, um, but something like this would be really fun to do. I might actually add some like circles and stuff, make it uh, like some of the products on Amazon. Um, so this is going to be about I don't know maybe 150 grams of infill uh, at 25 dollars per pet G spool. Uh, it's going to cost me about I don't know. It's going to cost me like three four bucks to make this, which is pretty good. I mean. Is it just ordering on Amazon, having it shipped, going through all that, you know, air freight, um, pollution. Uh, I'm just making it with my 3D printer. So that's something I'm working on. This is just my very first prototype. Um, I'm also printing it on this side also. <laughs> I'm printing it with a, a translucent uh, filament over on this side because I want to actually also see... Um, you know, I want to be able to see through it and it looks kind of cool. And this is a little filament, um, what is it, spool holder I printed out. I'm not sure how well it's going to work. It's, it's all like lopping sideways, but I just printed it. So let's see, if, if it lasts through this print, it'll be great. My Himera is working great on the Ender 6. Um, here's a bunch of logos I've been printing out. Uh, just a quick update. Here's another variation of that back roller I'm working on you can see this is much larger perimeter I put seven perimeter but only two percent infill so I'm gonna go ahead and see uh, there's always gonna be an optimal balance between the perimeter and the infill and I really love the gyroid infills I've been using it a lot and I just really believe that gyroid infills do work really good real strength all right so let me go ahead and play with it print out my back uh, roller. The good thing is you're gonna. I'm gonna put it on my back, and that puts a ton of pressure on it. And so it's a great test, a way to test the strength of these different uh, infills and perimeters. So I'll have a, a comparison video and also um, new I, I, iterations of my new back roller. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on thingies first because no one has actually actually designed a back roller. <laughs> so anyway, stay tuned, guys. Dr. E signing out.